From 1969 to 2019, there has never been a Scooby-Doo cartoon like Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Although it may have the same hallmarks as all the others, the mascot guy, the rich girl, the smart girl, the stoner guy, and their talking dog still drive around in a van solving mysteries, Mystery Incorporated also takes everything a step further. Because this time around, the show actually explores who the Scooby-Doo characters are, their personalities, how they would act in certain situations, and their relationships. It asks questions like, why are the mystery gang friends with each other? Do they even have to be friends? How exactly do they really feel about one another? Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated takes place not in the city of Coolsville, but rather a different town known as Crystal Cove, in which every episode involves Scooby and the gang investigating the latest Monster of the Week, who usually ends up being some weird guy in a costume, all while gradually learning more about an overarching mystery that spans throughout the entire series. This is a Scooby-Doo show that actually takes its narrative seriously. It's invested in setting up its mysteries, and it constantly keeps the audience guessing as to what's going to happen in the show's plot, as well as in the individual episodes. Sometimes the bad guy isn't who you expect it to be, and sometimes there are just so many red herrings that you don't even know which one to choose, which usually makes the final reveal all the more surprising and rewarding. I'm gonna talk about some spoilers now, but as it turns out, our Mystery Incorporated isn't the first group of mystery solvers with a talking animal mascot. Previously, there was another Mystery Inc. who disappeared while searching for the lost treasure of Crystal Cove, along with hundreds of preceding mystery teams that have existed all throughout history. And the missing treasure is connected to everything including the supernatural. The whole reason why Scooby-Doo is a talking dog is actually because his canine ancestors breeded with aliens all the way back in ancient times, and one of the evil aliens has been sealed away in a sarcophagus underneath Crystal Cove. It's not buried treasure, it's an actual real monster that is just waiting to be set free. So, in other words, this is a show about four kids and their talking dog trying to prevent an eldritch abomination from unleashing its supernatural powers and ending the world. I know that the whole point of Scooby-Doo is that the monster isn't real, and it's always some guy in a costume, but sometimes it's important to have artistic experimentation. And much like Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, Mystery Incorporated is a fresh new direction for the series that still retains the essence of a Scooby-Doo cartoon. Shaggy and Scooby still have massive appetites, the show still has a sense of comedy, and there are all kinds of references to the original series, as well as current pop culture that we're familiar with today. The show has entire episodes dedicated to the Twilight Zone, modern art movements, the Saw movies, HP Lovecraft, along with more niche subjects like the Black Lodge from Twin Peaks. They even acknowledge the fact that Velma Dinkley could probably solve an entire episode by herself, and she totally does. Figures I'd end up in Philadelphia. Even if you don't like Scooby-Doo, I would still recommend watching Mystery Incorporated, because it is easily the best Scooby-Doo TV series that I've ever seen. In spite of the awkward romance between Velma and Shaggy during the first season that thankfully does not last very long. As its name implies, Mystery Incorporated is about Mystery Incorporated. It's about their legacy, their relationships, and an underlying mystery that encompasses the entire plot of the series. This show reintroduces us to the characters of Fred Jones, Daphne Blake, Velma Dinkley, Shaggy Rogers, and Scooby-Doo in a way that has never been done before, exploring who they are as individuals and who they are as friends. 
everything you know about this franchise will never be the same after watching Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated.